Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Filmmaking is a serious business and we take it seriously, but occasionally you just need to have a little fun. And so today I'm gonna to put my most expensive camera on Amazon's cheapest stabilizer. If you've ever had to film for longer than a couple of minutes, you'll probably have noticed that cameras are very heavy and holding one in an awkward position to get the right angle on a shot um, can be soul crushing if you have to do it for hour after hour. Hence the invention of a bunch of different camera stabilizers. You have the ready rig, which goes over the top of your uh, shoulders. You have the easy rig, uh, which is sort of like a fisher pole that comes over the top of your head. But the principle is basically the same. You want to redistribute the weight from your arms onto your shoulders and your back that can better carry the weight. This doesn't make camera operating easy by any stretch of the imagination. It does make it bearable though. This is particularly important when you're shooting somewhere where you can't put the camera down. Say you're outside uh, in the woods, you're in a swamp, you're uh, on a street. You don't wanna put your 10, 20, $30,000 worth of gear just on the ground where it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get broken. So you need to keep it in your arms the entire time. Uh, professional sets solve this by having a camera system that once the operator's done shooting, they just give the camera to someone else who then finds somewhere to put it. Now, most people don't work with camera assistants. It'll be us, the cinematographers, the directors, the camera person, the uh, all-in-one um, filmmaker that'll be carrying the camera around. So it is huge to have something to take the weight of this. The downside of this is these are expensive. Uh, they can be very awkward. They take time getting in and getting out of. Um, something with the ready rig and the easy rig is that you have this big dangling thing above your head uh, and it can hit you in the face. That's happened to me. Uh, it can make it difficult to get through doors. So there is no perfect system. But apart from purely logistical issues, the main drawback for something like the easy rig is cost. The Minimax starts at about $1,200. Uh, then that will only hold up to about 15 pounds. If you have a bigger camera, like I do, uh, you'll be spending something like four and a half thousand dollars for the Vario, um, all the way up to six and a half thousand dollars. Is this a good investment? If you are shooting all day and the added support means that you can go for longer without being in pain, getting better shots, absolutely. But how do you know if it's gonna help you or what if you just have a couple of shots to get? The Easy Rig can be prohibitively expensive for some people. Enter the Easy Rig. Uh, this is a Chinese knockoff that retails for $250 on Amazon. Um, it's pretty well built, comes with its own little bag. Uh, it disassembles for um, storage. It has this big uh, crank on the back, which you can tighten or lessen the tension, uh, as well as a release. It has these interesting little piston arms on the side, and it is made out of sort of car seat material, and looks like a professional device until you open up the um, zip here at the bottom, and you'll find that the actual support is packing foam. But I didn't wanna hold that against it. I wanted to put this thing through its paces and see if it could hold uh, my small little uh, C70 action rig, as well as my much larger, uh, much heavier C500 Mark II. If you're interested in applications and types of scenes, definitely check out Canon Masterclass. I have a ton of videos up there, including a walk and talk blueprint, a whole section about uh, shooting off the grid with adventure and uh, remote filmmaking. And another one that's coming up next month, which is gonna be all about outdoor lighting and exterior cinematography. Now the manual it comes with even says Easy Rig. They should probably put inverted commas around that. Um, it has uh, three pages of instructions in both Chinese and English. And then here it shows someone suspending a camera above their head without touching it, which I do not advise. This is certainly a bare bones rig. It doesn't have much in the way of size and height adjustment. And uh, at 6'2 and 180 pounds, I found this very snug. It's almost as though it wasn't meant for someone my size, which is probably true. By adjusting the knobs on the back, I was actually able to get it to fit pretty snug. And the trial run I did with the C70 worked out great. The attachment arm uh, seems solid. It locks really well. The materials, as I said, for the whole rig um, actually seem pretty good if you don't undo the zip and look in the bottom. 
So for a 10 pound uh, mini cam, um, this actually worked pretty well. A problem with this type of rig is movement because it isn't a steady cam. It doesn't stabilize moving with the camera. It basically uh, accentuates the movement of your hips so that the whole arm that's carrying the camera tips a lot. And even if you, because of the tension of the support cable, um, if you try and isolate it by just holding it with your hands while you're walking, uh, it still adds movement. It is much more about uh, supporting you while you're shooting, essentially giving you a third hand uh, to support the weight of the camera while you use one or two hands on the camera to manipulate it, press the buttons, do the controls, pull focus, all of that stuff. So this, for the C70, it worked really well, but I did notice here in the instructions, it says up to 18 kilos, which is 40 pounds. So I couldn't help myself, I put my C500 Mark II uh, with the Sumire lenses, the matte box, uh, handles, batteries, everything uh, that came up to about 35 pounds. With this much weight, it's actually almost trying to catapult off the back of uh, the vest. I really felt the waist belt kind of cutting into me a little. That said, it was much, much more comfortable uh, than operating this handheld without the rig, and it did actually give me a lot of support as long as I didn't start walking around. I shot for about 25 minutes with this thing, uh, and though I did have some tension in the middle of my back, uh, it was nothing like I would have had in my shoulders and my arms um, had I been operating this without the rig. Now, I'm not absolutely crazy. I did keep a hand on this at all times because, you know, I don't know who uh, designed and created this. Uh, some factory in China, um, it doesn't have the warranty that the Swedish made Easy Rig, official Easy Rig has. Um, and so you can't really uh, trust it with the weight of the camera. I always kept a hand on the camera. I was always ready for the string to snap or the me mechanism to give way, which sort of does take your mind off the shooting. So I was secretly hoping that this thing would snap on camera and I would get some great footage of the camera falling and me catching it dramatically. But that just didn't happen. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, especially for the money. Who is this device for? Well, so if you have a small camera and you're gonna be doing a bunch of shooting, but you're kind of dreading having the camera in your hands all day, definitely check this out. If you're not ready to commit for an entire $1,200 Easy Rig, official Easy Rig, this will get you going. Um, and you can see if it actually shoot, works with your shooting style. Something that it's not gonna work for uh, is something like a wedding, a function where you're in a crowded space. You do not want to swing around too quickly and uh, break somebody's nose, especially the bride or groom. It's also not for moving around with the camera, as I mentioned. Um, it's not particularly stable. To get stability and the easy rig, you have to go right up into the five, six thousand dollar bracket with something that they call the Vario, which is uh, has springs and suspension in the overhead arm. But it's definitely something I'm gonna hold on to because I like the footage that I got with it. If I'm shooting a ton of coverage of something, um, it can come in really handy. It doesn't take up too much space in the studio. It comes with its own bag. It's easy to travel with. If I find myself using it a ton, I'll go out and buy the Mini Max or another easy rig. But for the amount of shooting that I'm doing right now, this was a good fit. Thank you very much for watching. Check the description for the links and I will see you next time.